Right, I'm gonna start. It's super cool to see so many of you again. I can see lots of our regulars, so this is really, really cool. Um, let's begin and we'll start in child's pose. So let's just take your sit bones here back towards your heels and allowing your sit bones, your hips here to feel heavy. Just notice the light lengthening here in your spine. You have the option to tuck your arms back or to reach your arms forward to make it more of an active child's pose. And just coming into land, to really land in your physical body, to land in this space and on your mat. And let's start by just taking those few deeper breaths. Take a big deep breath in here through your nose. Perhaps exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Here in this morning's practice, give yourself permission to fully land in your physical body and to connect all the separate neurological pathways and allow this practice to connect you to yourself. And if you have any harsh judgments on yourself, see if you can let them go. And it really is on us to soften and ask to be present. Allow whatever comes just to gently flow through. Again, take another big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And slowly on your next inhale, draw your, uh, lift yourself here up. Come to sit here on your heels. Place your hands here in prayer in front of your chest and just take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Come into a really gentle twist here to start. Now press the heels of your hands here together. Really try to firmly draw your belly here away from your legs. Press the palms of your hands together. Open and expand your chest here. And inhale, come up through center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So now right elbow against the outside of your left knee. Again, press the heels of your hands here together. Press your elbow against your knee, your knee back against your elbow. Really try to open and expand your chest here. And drawing your belly really firmly away from your leg. And inhale, come back to center. Again, lift yourself up. Now tuck your toes here. Sit back onto your heels, catch your toes, and see if you can spread them out. So remind yourself that you can come out. You can lean forward to take the pressure off. But just try and stay here with tucked toes for as long as possible. Now inhale, float your arms up, lift them up, bend the elbows, place your right forearm on top of your left forearm, draw your elbows and arms here behind your ears, and then exhale, slowly release out. So now switch sides, left forearm on top, inhale, lift up, press the elbows against your hands, hands against your elbows, and exhale, release out. Again, keep switching sides, right forearm on top, inhale, then exhale, and then inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale, keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and then gently exhale. Now release the hands. Untuck your toes, 
Sit back onto your heels. Lean back on your hands here. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Really try to puff your chest up. And then slowly see if you can drag your knees here away from the floor. Only if that's available to you this morning. Lift your knees all the way up. And then slowly come back to center. Come up onto all fours, so onto your hands and your knees. So place your hands here directly underneath your shoulders. Your knees get underneath your hips. If you want to give yourself extra stability, tuck the toes here. And then inhale, lift your chest up, lift your sit bones, get up. Exhale, gently round your spine. Drop your head, drop your neck. Let's do four more. So inhale, and gently exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Now come to a neutral spine and start to fully engage your belly. So draw hip points, rib points here towards each other. Draw your pubic bone here towards your belly button and start to walk your hands here forwards. See if you can take your forehead to the floor. Try to take your arms a little bit wider, so more into a V shape. And then fully engaging your belly, see if you can then melt your belly and your chest here closer to the floor. Try to keep your elbows lifted. Keep breathing. And then slowly pop back up onto your hands. Bring all the fingers here together, get all the fingers here to touch. Turn the hands out to the side, then turn them towards your knees. So the fingers now point towards your knees. Now look at your hands, make sure that they're not drifting too close towards each other. We'll do another few cat cows here. So inhale, lift your chest, lift your sit bones. Exhale, gently round your spine. Drop your head, drop your neck. Then inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, and exhale. Now come to that neutral spine, you can untuck the toes, we're going to sit back on the heels, but just try and get the um, fingertips here to leave the floor last. Now come and sit on your heels, relax your shoulders, lift your chest. Just take a few breaths here. Notice the opening now, the more space you have in your chest. Now take the right fingertips here behind you. Take your left arm, swing it across your body and then all the way up. Lift your hips here up, then exhale, slowly lower your sit bones back down and switch sides. Left hand behind you, reach your right arm over and up. Exhale, slowly lower. Again, inhale, lift, come up. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more on each, or last one here, inhale, and then exhale. Now come back up onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes, lift your sit bones, lift your tailbone, come into downward facing dog. From here start to gently paddle out your feet, so you're walking the legs out on the spot, bending the knees, and just gently swaying the hips here side to side. Let your head and neck here feel heavy. Root down through the heels of your hands, the bases of your fingers. And create space here through all sides of your body. Press the heels of your hands into the mat, the bases of your fingers here into the mat. Finding out all the creases that you may feel at the back of your body. And then walk your hands here closer to your feet and come into a forward fold here at the back of your mat. Keep your feet at least hip distance apart, maybe slightly wider. It depends on how tight your hamstrings are. If you have fairly open hamstrings, you can keep your feet closer. Soften your knees, catch opposite elbows and just gently sway your upper body side to side. Allow your whole upper body here to feel heavy. 
Drop your head, drop your neck. And then drop your hands. And then walk your hands here again forwards, come back to downward facing dog, coming to a nice strong downward facing dog. So check your setup here and look at the feet. Try to have the um, heels of your feet hidden behind the balls of your feet. Engage your upper legs, roll the inner thighs back, stretch and lengthen your spine. So if your hip points your points towards each other, really anchor down through your hands. Take one more breath here. And then walk your hands again back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold again at the back of your mat. Press here through all four corners of your feet. You can lift your toes, you can spread the toes and then drop them back down again. And then start to walk your hands closer to your feet. Hollow out your belly and just feed your belly and your chest here closer to your legs. See if you can really send the energy of the crown of your head here towards the floor. Draw your kneecaps up, hollow out your belly. And then slowly walk your hands again forward, come back to downward facing dog, create space here through all sides of your body. Take a big deep breath in, nice exhale out. Then bend your knees and press back to child's pose. So take your bum again back towards your heels. Option to reach your arms forward to so maybe tuck the arms back. And allow the sit bones to feel heavy, tailbone here feels heavy. And just for a moment, really stop. And then taking this moment to check in and to soften, to know where you are with your body today. And each day is completely different. And inhale, slowly come up, come up to sit again. Come to sit on your heels. And if sitting on your heels is too much for your knees or ankles, come and sit comfortably cross-legged. Then place the hands here onto the lowest part of your ribcage. Now really hold your ribcage here in your hands. And allow the breath here to really expand into your hands as your hands may travel up the ribcage. Now, if you want to close your eyes for crying out, close your eyes and then exhale everything naturally out right now. And inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. And exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Your hands slightly higher up your ribcage. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. And then inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. And then exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Place both hands on your chest. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. And exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. One hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, Hold. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold. 
Now switch your hands here around again. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Place both hands on your lap and then inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. And exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. And then release. And softly open your eyes. Look at the floor here in front of your knee. Allow the prana life force here to come forward from your eyes. And place your hands, tuck the toes, and we'll come back to downward facing dog. And strong down dog, just create the space again here through all sides of your body. Lengthen your spine, draw the shoulder blades away from each other. See if you can hug the outer armpits here towards each other so it feels like your armpits can face your heart. Now inhale, look between your hands, and then exhale, step here towards your hands. So come into a forward hold at the top of your hand. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward, and then exhale, fold. Then root down here through your feet, press the floor away, and bring yourself here all the way up to sound. Reach up, baby, look up. Exhale, draw it back into your heart, and raise your hands. So just drop your shoulders, take a natural breath. Really notice the grinding of your feet here. And inhale, arms up. Float up, look up, exhale, slowly fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, and look forward. And place the hands and step back to plank pose. So come into a strong plank. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, let your tailbone feel slightly heavy. Draw hip point to rib point here towards each other. Root down through your hands. You create a strong leg, strong belly, strong arms. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale, chaturanga to the floor. So land on your belly here. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift, come up, cobra. So draw the shoulder blades down your back and try to feed your chest here through your arms. Let's take one more breath here. So inhale, exhale. And then slowly lower all the way down. Let's do that twice more on the breath. So inhale, lift, come up, cobra. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. And then press the floor away, come back to child's pose. So take your bum here back towards your heels. And then slowly on your left inhale, round the spine, come into cat stretch, so come onto all fours. And then press back, child's pose, exhale. Again, inhale, round forward, cat stretch. And then press back, child's pose, exhale. Again, inhale, round forward, cat stretch, and then tuck the toes and press back to downward facing dog. Exhale. Then create space through all sides of your body. Spread the fingers wide. See if you can claw the mat here with your fingertips. Just notice how much space you're creating in your body. And see if you can soften into that space. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or perhaps already flow towards your hands. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Then root down here through your feet, press the floor away and bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach up, look up. Exhale, draw it back into your heart and then release your hands. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Place the hands and step back to plank. So we're going to come into that nice strong plank. Shoulders over wrists, tailbone slightly heavy. Now we're from here, we're going to just bend the knees and we're going to land on all fours again. So just make sure that your knees are then underneath your hips. You can tuck your toes again for extra stability. 
Then on your next inhale, lift your left arm up, lift your leg, leg it up. Now press that leg back instead of lifting it up, press it back. Briefly hold here, connect to your core. And then gently bring the elbow and knee here together underneath your body, round your spine. Inhale to open, exhale, round. And then inhale, open, exhale, round. Now take your right leg back, see if you can reach back with your left hand, bend your right knee and see if you can then catch your foot here with your left hand and gently press the foot back against your hand. And then slowly release. And we'll do the second side. So drop your right knee down, left hand stays down. Lift your left leg up. So again, press it back instead of lifting the hip. Reach your right arm forward. Briefly hold here, really fully connect to your belly, to your core. And then gently round the spine, bring your elbow and knee here together underneath your body. Then inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, exhale, round. Now take your left leg back, see if you can reach back with your right hand. You might be able to catch your foot in your hand and just very gently press the foot back against your hand. And then slowly release. Place your right hand down, left knee down. Option now is to come straight into down dog or to come back to plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to go cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So any time in this practice you want to skip a transition, you want to skip the chaturanga, come straight into downward facing dog. Then big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Then inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or maybe float here towards your hands. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. And then right down through your feet. Press the floor away. Bring yourself here up to stand. Reach up, look up. Exhale, direct back into your heart. And then release your hands. So drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. And really notice the value of your feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Place the hands, step or float here back to plank. And then inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to four cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And on your inhale, raise your right leg high. So just lift up your right leg, keep your hips still square, supercharge your right leg, point spread the toes so your foot is engaged. And then slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest, round your spine here, knee to nose, and slowly set the right foot between your hands. So keep your fingertips on the floor here. Gently feed your hips here forward. See if you can squeeze the chest through your arms. Exhale, slowly lengthen that little right leg. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, lengthen. Let's do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Now plant your right foot down. Drop your back knee down. Again, you can pad out this left knee if you need to. Gently feed your hips here forward. Float your arms here up. Feed your hips forward, but point your tailbone down. See if you can zip up your belly. So draw your pubic bone up towards your belly button. You can slowly lengthen out your right leg. Press the heel down, draw the toes up, fold over your right leg. Keep your hips here square, point the crown of your head here towards your foot. And then take both hands to the outside of your right leg. So both hands on the outside, fold here over your right leg, still keeping that right leg engaged. Take an inhale here, and exhale here. And slowly come back to center. Plant your right foot down. Inhale, float your arms up. And again, gently feed your hips here forward. Lift your lower belly. Plug your shoulders into their sockets. So really try to pop your chest up. And then slowly lengthen out your right leg again. 
Press the heel down, draw the toes up. Lay your left hand down on the inside of your right leg and reach your right arm up. So coming into that easy twist. Press the heel down, draw the toes up. Inhale here and exhale here. And find your right foot down, tuck the back toes, and just briefly lift the left knee here off the mat again, reaching into the right arm. Inhale here and exhale here. And then lower your right hand down. Step back to plank or straight into down dog if you want to skip that transition. Otherwise, chaturanga. Inhale up to go cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And then inhale, raise your left leg high. So lift up your left leg again, point spread the toes. Draw your ribs here towards each other. Again, keeping your left leg, your left foot here engaged. Then exhale, slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, rounding the spine now. Step your left foot between your hands. Keep the fingertips on the floor. Then feed your hips here forward. Squeeze the chest here through your arms. It's like cobra chest. Then exhale, slowly lengthen out your left leg. Then inhale, move forward. Exhale, lengthen. Then inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And then plant your left foot down. Drop your back knee here down. And then pat out the knee if you need to. Inhale, float your arms here up. Gently feed your hips here forward. So again, point your tailbone down. Try not to round your lower back. So try to keep pointing the tailbone to the floor. Reach into your fingertips here. And slowly lengthen out your left leg. Draw the toes up. Fold here over your left leg into runner's lunge. Hand in line your shin on the floor. Try to just aim for the crown of your head here to, work, to point towards your left foot. Inhale here. Exhale here. And then take both hands to the outside of your left leg. And you fold over the outside of your left leg. Then keeping your left leg here engaged. Again, inhale here. And exhale here. And then slowly coming back to center. Plant your left foot down. Inhale, float your arms up again. Gently feed your hips forwards. Point your tailbone down. Reach into your fingertips. Relax your shoulders slightly. Give yourself space to breathe. So always, when you're creating space, if you can soften into that space. And slowly lengthen out your left leg. Press the heel down, draw the toes up. Place your right hand on the inside of your left leg and reach your left arm up. Press the heel down, draw the toes up. And inhale here, exhale here. And then plant your left foot down. And tuck the back toes, keeping your left arm high. Reach into your left fingertip. Try to see if you can lift your right knee off the mat. And then inhale here, and exhale here. And lower your left hand down. Step back to plank or straight into down dog. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up to go Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice cleansing. Exhale out. And inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, step or maybe float here towards your hand. Inhale, lift legs and look forward. And then exhale, fold. Now we're down here through your feet, press the floor away, and bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach up, look up, exhale, drop it back into your heart, and then release your hands. So drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and again, really notice the line of your feet here. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, look forward. Place the hands, step or float back to plank. And then inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Then inhale, raise your right leg high. This time lift your hips slightly. So open your right hip. Just try to be careful not to drop your left shoulder here too low. Then exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest, round your spine here. Step your right foot between your hands, coming into crescent lunge. Inhale, float your arms up. Root down through the balls of your feet. See if you can magnetize the balls of your feet, keeping your hips nice and square. And then start to place the hands in prayer in front of your chest. Put the weight into your right foot and bring your left leg up. So now coming into warrior three. Grounding your standing foot, stay connected to your belly. And then slowly step your left foot back to where it came from, back to present lunge. And then exhale, fold out warrior two. So adjust your feet here. Line up your right heel with the arch of your back foot. Center your upper body here between your feet. Press the edges of your feet down. Now move forward and out of your hips. Land your right elbow just above the knee. And take your left arm, reach up towards the ceiling. Draw the right shoulder blade down your back. Keep the right side of your torso really nice and long. And then inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, reverse your warrior. So left hand down. Right arm up and over your right ear. Lift your lower belly here. And inhale, slowly come up. Begin to lengthen out your right leg. Draw the right knee cap up. Come into triangle. Now start to move as far forward as you can and then lower your right hand down. And reach your left arm up. Again, create space between your shoulder blades. Keep your belly here engaged and press the edges of your feet down. And inhale, slowly come up. We're going to reverse that triangle, so drop your left hip down, take your right arm up and over your right ear. Left hip down, right hip up. And inhale, slowly come up. Bend into your right knee again, reach forward, this time lower your right hand down, reach your left arm up and see if you can then take your left arm up and over your left ear. That extended side angle. Roll the right side of your ribcage forward and the left side back. Inhale, slowly come up. Back to warrior two. Take your left hand to your hip. Again, move forward. So we're going to come to half moon. Put the weight into your right foot. Drop the right fingertips down. And then see if you can lift your left leg up. Try to then stack your left hip on top of your right. Supercharge your left leg. And if it's there for you, reach into the left fingertips. Ground your standing foot. Hug the outer right hip in. And slowly step your left foot back to right. Came from back to warrior two. And then bring your hands, place them on the mat. Step back to plank or step straight into down dog. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Then inhale, raise your left leg high. So again, lift your left hip just slightly. Keep your shoulders still level with each other. Stay connected to your belly. Then slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, round your spine. Step your left foot between your hands. The crescent lunge first. Inhale, float your arms up. Draw the shoulders down. Keep space to breathe by relaxing the shoulders slightly. Press the balls of your feet here down, reaching into the fingertips. Then hands in prayer in front of your chest and we'll come into warrior three. So now float your right leg up, put all the weight into your left foot. Ground your standing foot. See if you can point all the right toes here to the floor. And then slowly set your right foot back to where it came from. Back to crescent lunge. And then exhale, fold out warrior two. So adjust your feet, line up your left heel with the arch of your back foot. Again, relax your shoulders slightly, space the breathing where you sink into your left hip and your left knee. Now move forward, land your elbow above the knee, take your right arm, reach up towards the ceiling. So just focus on lengthening through the left side of your body, not collapsing into the left side of your body, reaching into the right fingertips. 
and inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, reverse warrior, right hand down, left arm up and over your left ear. Keep lifting your lower belly, press the edges of your feet to the down. And inhale, slowly come up, and lengthen out your left leg. Move forward and out of your hips, land your left hand on the shin, reach your right arm up, and reaching into the right fingertips, keeping that left side again super nice and long, and keep engaging your belly here. And inhale, slowly come up. Reverse your triangle, right hand down, left arm up and over your left ear. So lift the left hip bone, drop your right hip bone down. Breathe here through the left side of your rib cage. And inhale, slowly come up. Bend your left knee, land your elbow or land your left hand down. Reach your right arm up and then right arm up and over your right ear. Breathing into the right side of your rib cage. And really roll that left side forward and draw the right side back. Take one more breath here. And inhale, slowly come up. And take your right hand now to your right hip. Reach forward with your left hand, put the weight again into your left foot. Coming into half moon, see if you can slowly start to float your right leg up. So slowly, slowly, keep your right hand on your hip, so you can feel that you can stack the hip on top of your left hip. And reach your right arm up if it's there for you today. Supercharge your right leg. Ground your standing foot. Take one more breath here. And then slowly set your right foot back to where it came from. Windmill your hands. Place them on the mat. So back to plank or step straight into down dog. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Now inhale, raise your right leg high. Bend your knee, point your toes a bit behind your back. So just squeeze the heel here towards your sit bone, your knee here towards the ceiling. Really fully opening that right hip. And then exhale, slowly draw your right knee in towards your chest, round your spine here, step the right foot between your hands, slowly lift yourself up to stand, setting up the pyramid, maybe step your back foot in slightly, place your hands on your hips and just feel that the hips are square with the top of your mat. Inhale, lift your lower belly, exhale, slowly start to fold over your front leg. Your hands again can land on the shin. You might be able to land on the floor. Feed your left hip forward, draw your right hip back. Then send the crown of your head here towards the floor. Hollow out your belly. Then start to walk your fingertips here forwards. Lift and come halfway up. Bring your legs into a nice L shape. Root down through your right foot. Look at your left foot. See if you can really close that left hip. And then start to lift your left leg higher. Maybe walk your fingers closer to your standing foot. It doesn't really matter how high this left leg goes. If it's available to you this morning, maybe take your right hand and wrap it around your calf. Take one more breath here. And then slowly lower your right hand down. Step your left foot back to where it came from. Come into down dog, lift your right leg high, bend your knee, point your toes behind your back. The option is to stay here, which is more than enough. Or to flip your dog, drop your right foot behind you, lift your hips, lift your chest here. Try to keep your left leg long and your right knee, your right foot bent. And slowly place your right hand down and step back to downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And inhale, raise your left leg high. Again, bend the knee, point the toes here behind your back. Open your left hip here. Root down through your hands. Keep your shoulders level with each other. Then exhale, slowly draw your left knee in towards your chest, rounding the spine. Step your left foot between your hands. I've totally forgotten what we're doing now. We're going to come into pyramid. 
So step your back foot in slightly, square your hips here. Place your hands on your hips. Do you feel that the hips are square with the top of your mat? Lift your lower belly, lift your chest. Exhale, slowly fold here over your left leg. Hands can land on the shin. You might want to land on the floor. Square your hips here, right hip moves forward, left hip comes back. Press your heels here down. And then slowly start to walk your fingers here forwards. Lift your right leg up. See if you can bring your legs into this nice L shape. Round your standing foot. You can start to walk your fingers closer to your standing foot. You might be able to lift your right leg then a little bit higher. Now it doesn't really matter how high that right leg goes. Just feel like you can supercharge your right leg. One more breath here. And then slowly step your right foot back to where it came from. Place both hands down. Lift your left leg high. Bend your knee. Point your toes behind your back. Come into that scorpion tail. And then option is to stay here or to flip your dog. Drop your left foot behind you. Lift your hips. Lift your chest here. Flip dog. Inhale here. And exhale here. And place your left hand down. Step back to downward facing dog. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. We're going to set up for pigeon. So bend your right knee and take your right knee here over to your right wrist. So right knee, right wrist. Begin to slide your left leg back. Now pull up onto your fingertips. Lift your chest up, keep your hips square. Allow your hips here to settle, to sort of feel like you're sinking in. And then maybe start to walk your hands forward. Option here is to land on your elbows and to land your forehead all the way down. So you're sinking into your right hip. See if you can feel the light lengthening here on your spine. And try to feel like you're moving forward, like you're releasing your spine here from your pelvis. Take one more breath here. And then slowly walk your hands here up. You're going to land on your right sit bone and keep your right knee bent. So we're going to come into the left leg staying at the back of your mat and draw your right heel close towards your groin. Then turn to your belly button, lines up with your left foot. So your left leg, your left foot stays at the back of your mat. Inhale, lift your chest here up. Exhale, slowly start to fold. Fold your upper body over your left leg. Keep both sit bones grounded. Really try to take the crown of your head here towards your left foot. One more breath here. And then inhale, slowly come up. And take both legs into straddle. So take both legs nice and wide. Now lift yourself up and you can tuck yourself into that slightly deeper um, legs, slightly wider legs. Now look at your feet and your kneecaps and just make sure that they point straight up towards the ceiling. Lift your chest here. If you have a lot of sensation now in the legs, then just take your hands in behind your hips and lift your chest up. Lengthen through your spine. And slowly start to take the hands in front, if that's available to you this morning, and start to walk your hands forward. Walk them as far forwards as you can. Really feel like you're moving forward rather than down. And eventually, when you feel like you can't move any further forward, that's when you drop your head. Take one more breath here. And inhale, slowly come up. 
Just support the backs of your knees, lift them up, and briefly step back to downward facing dog. So place a hand at the top of your mat, come into down dog. And full breath here, inhale, exhale. And then take your left knee here to your left wrist and slide your right leg all the way back. So again, look at that right leg, make sure your foot and leg are in one straight line. Walk the fingertips back briefly and really allow your hips here to settle. Inhale, and then exhale, maybe start to fold forward. And you can land on your elbows, you can land your forehead all the way down. We're in the opposite hip. So just try to just very gently soften into that left hip. And feel like you can lengthen your spine. So one more breath here. And inhale, slowly come up. This time land on your left sit bone and keep your right leg, your right foot here at the back of your mat or your left heel close to your groin and then turn so your belly lines up with your right foot. Lengthen, inhale, and then exhale, slowly fold. Hold your upper body here over your right leg. Keep both sit bones grounded. See if you can send the crown of your head here towards your foot. So it's a slight twist. Really flush the breath now through the left side of your rib cage. And then inhale, slowly come up. And begin to lengthen out both legs. So we're going to come into Janu Shvichasana. So take both legs straight, roll the inner thighs, maybe walk your sit bones here up, lift your chest here up, and to really engage, or to really sit tall, you have to engage your core here. Inhale, float your arms up, exhale, slowly fold. And just let your hands here land on your, land wherever they need to land, so they don't have to catch your feet. Now inhale, come up slightly, lift your chest, exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Maybe you just repeat that just a few times. So really tease the length here out of your lower back. And eventually, when you feel like you can't move any further forward, that's when you drop your head. And inhale, slowly come up. Bend your knees, bring your bum closer to the front of your mat, float your arms here up, puff your chest here up, and slowly make your way to come and lie down on your back. Now when you're here on your back, still keep your knees bent and draw your heels a little bit closer to your sit bones. When you press your lower back down, you should be able to tickle the backs of your heels here with your fingertips. Keep sending your tailbone here forward. Then inhale, lift your hips up. Draw your right shoulder and then your left shoulder here under. Interlace your fingers, press your arms against the mat and try to lift your hips here slightly higher. Keep sending your tailbone forward. Keep drawing hip points and rib points here towards each other. And then slowly lower yourself all the way back down. Press your lower back down. Keep sending your tailbone forwards. So coming into one last back bend. So here, reverse the hands behind your shoulders if this is available to you this morning. Otherwise, just repeat bridge pose. So set up a bridge or set up a wheel right now. So on the inhale, set yourself up. Bridge or wheel. On the exhale, lift the whole front side of your body here up towards the ceiling. So you're really trying to match the back of your body into the front of your body. 
Keep your feet parallel, keep your upper legs here parallel. Root down through your, um, through your arms or your hands and really root down through your feet. And exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. And then press your lower back down. Just allow yourself just a few moments of stillness where you feel the sensations here rushing through your body, your nervous system it's just gently waking up. And then draw your knees into your chest. Just gently rock out your lower back. So gentle rocking side to side. And we're coming to happy baby. So catch the soles here of your feet. Stack your ankles here over your knees and just gently draw your knees past your ribcage towards the floor. Anchor down your spine. If it's too much to catch your feet, always have the option to catch your calves or maybe to hold on to the backs of your knees even. Just try and come into this nice grounding pose. We're really grounding your spine all the way down, grounding the pelvis here so you're not trying to lift your bum up. And slowly release your feet. Draw your knees here in towards your chest. Inhale. Then exhale. Take your knees over to the left. Take your right arm here out to the side. Come into a twist. Maybe look over your right arm here towards the side wall. Just try and keep your knees here together. And flush the breath here through the right side of your body. And slowly draw your knees back into your chest. And keep your knees here together. Drop them over to the other side. Keep your left arm out to the side. Look over your left hand. Breathe here through the left side of your ribcage. Left side. And slowly draw your knees back into your chest. Just give yourself a little bit of a tight squeeze. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Come and lie down in Shavasana. So if you want to grab a blanket, grab a blanket. If you want to grab a cushion or anything that makes you feel really comfortable, grab it now. And start just to take up as much space as you feel comfortable. And allow your whole physical body here to start to feel heavy. Notice your physical body here resting against the floor. Resting against the earth. And taking the support here of the floor and of the earth underneath and feel that you can really be held. Let go of your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet, your chest, stop in your belly. Relax your face and soften your jaw. Just notice your breath here rising and falling. Notice how the breath moves in that ideal pattern for you. Simply coming, simply going. know that here is exactly 
where you need to be. Very, very slowly. Take a few deeper breaths. You move hands, fingers, feet, toes. If it feels good, stretch out over it. Draw one knee into your chest, or the other knee into your chest, and slowly roll to the right. Stay there for a few breaths. Just very slowly, no more rhythm. And yourself up, come into a comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed, placing your hands here on your knees or in your lap. Settle into your seat and notice the grounding of your hips, the lifting of your spine. Relax your shoulders and keep your face to the side. Reminding yourself that it's in all of us to soften. It's in you to soften. Thank you. Cover the heart here with your hands, your hands with Anjali Mudra in front of your heart, and just lift your heart up to your hands. Lightly tuck your chin here, bow your head here to your heart. And with this mudra, we seal the practice here, and we bring our heart before our heart, and our mind before our mind. We bring our inside out. We bring your inside. Thank you for sharing your energy here with us this morning. May this practice here inspire your daily life. May you offer this practice to those and to where it is needed the most. May the skin you shed here today feed the soil around you. May you gently remind yourself to keep giving and take a bath. May we all breathe in the unknown and breathe out peace. Take a big deep breath into your heart and your hand. Nice exhale out.
to all of the hearts. When you are ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to stop the recording. <laughs>